I've been wanting to go all out on a retro pie build for a while now. And so when I saw that they were making reproduction ZX Spectrum cases, I figured it would be perfect for an enclosure for a retro pie build. Uh, the easiest thing to do would have been to just throw a Raspberry Pi inside and call it a day, but I really wanted the original keyboard to still be functional. So I designed this board that is an adapter for the original keyboard to USB. So uh, with this adapter, you can use the original keyboard with any modern computer. It's USB, so it, so it all works as normal. Uh, in this case, it's plugged into a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus, and it's just a fairly standard RetroPie setup, so there's a bunch of games installed on here like you would expect. Uh, and just to show you that the keyboard is working, I'll just exit emulation station real quick here and then show you that I can type in on here and launch it back up. typed out the command and then just launch emulation station back up. Now it is a little bit tricky because the LR Fuse emulator in RetroPie, which is the emulator for uh, ZX Spectrum games, is a little finicky about the way the keyboards work and, and USB keyboards in general, not just this one. Uh, so I'm still working out on a couple of kinks there, so not all the games work properly, um, but it acts like a normal USB keyboard. So I'll go ahead and show you a quick video of assembling the, the uh, PCB I designed, and then I'll have another clip after that explaining what exactly is going on inside. you can see that we have a uh, Raspberry 3 Model B Plus. Uh, it's running RetroPie uh, on a 32 gigabyte SD card there. Um, and I've got two receivers for wireless SNES controllers plugged in there. Most importantly though, we have the keyboard con uh, connectors from the uh, ZX Spectrum keyboard going to this custom PCB. Uh, there's one that's not populated. Uh, that connects, those, those connectors feed to a Teensy. Uh, it's a Teensy 3.2, which handles all the, the uh, checking the matrix, the keyboard matrix, and then connects from the Teensy 3.2 to the Raspberry Pi uh, via USB. Uh, so it, when it's plugged in, it just acts as a USB keyboard. Um, this, this custom PCB also takes power from just a 5 volt power supply with a DC barrel jack. Power goes in there. It feeds the power to the Raspberry Pi uh, through, through these terminals. There's also a uh, positive and negative terminal here for fan if you want to add a fan. Um, maybe put a fan over here to cool it down if you're overclocking the Raspberry Pi or something like that. And then finally, we just have a uh, HDMI extension going from the Raspberry Pi's HDMI output through the back of the, the ZX Spectrum case. Um, this custom PCB fits right in to the standard holes uh, for where the original motherboard were gone. And so there's no modifications at all required to the ZX Spectrum case. This is an aftermarket reproduction case but if you wanted to, you could use this setup with a real ZX Spectrum case without having to do any 
modifications or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about messing up your you know, pretty original case. And yeah, that's it.